right, welcome back to Sunday School, boys and girls. We are moving into the New Testament, finally. We've been talking about Moses and Joshua for a long time, and that was exciting. But now we're going to talk about Jesus. So in this story, Jesus is going to teach the disciples how to pray. Because when Jesus was with them, they had often noticed that he went off by himself many times to pray. And one day they were listening to him pray, and they noticed that there was something different about the way they prayed, the way that Jesus prayed. The disciples, of course, had all learned how to pray while they were growing up, and they had memorized the special prayers that they had back then, and they would say them when they went to the temple or when they went to their church. But when they listened to Jesus, it was different. It was like he was talking to his own father. Well, because he was, right? So the disciples asked him, Jesus, will you teach us to pray like you do? So Jesus taught them a prayer. And it was not like one of their memorized prayers. It was just like talking, having a conversation with God. And this was something really new to them. So Jesus taught them, and it's, it's what we now call the Lord's Prayer, if you've heard that before. It went something like this. Father, your name is holy. Let your kingdom come. Give us this things we need each day. Forgive us for our sins as we forgive the people who do wrong things to us. And do not let us be tempted to sin. First of all, calling God Father was completely new to the disciples. They knew God was, of course, the ruler of the universe, but they never called him Father. So this was the first thing that was really different about the way Jesus prayed. Then Jesus told the disciples that when they pray, they should first think about the fact that God is holy. That means that God deserves our honor and our obedience and our love because he is our king. After that, Jesus taught them that they should ask God for the things that they needed, just like a little child would ask a loving parent for lunch or dinner. And what are some things that people need? We need food, right? That's a big thing. And shelter, a house to live in, to keep us dry and warm, and clothes to wear out so we're not embarrassed. But we don't really need some of the things we ask for, right? Do we really need toys? I know they're fun, but Jesus taught us to ask for what we need, like our daily bread, right? That's our food that we need. Next, Jesus said that they needed to ask God to forgive them of their sins. But also, when they did that, they had to also forgive people who had done wrong things to them. And then finally, Jesus taught them to ask God to protect them from temptations and things, and being tempted to do wrong things. But Jesus wasn't finished. He wanted to make sure that they understood what he was teaching them, that when they prayed in this new way, that they could trust that God would always hear and answer them. And so he told them a parable, a story, about trusting God to answer prayers. And this is the parable. One night, a man had a visitor at midnight, but the man had nothing to feed his guest. So he went to his neighbor and banged on the door and asked his neighbor for bread so he could feed his guest. The man's neighbor did not want to get out of bed and give him bread in the middle of the night. But the man would not give up. He kept right on knocking on the door and knocking on the door and knocking on the door. You get the point, right? So the man knew that his neighbor had bread and he could help him and he wouldn't give up. The neighbor just wanted the man to quit knocking so he could go back to sleep, right? So he finally got up and gave the man the bread that he had asked for. So what Jesus was saying was this. If your cranky sleeping neighbor will get out of bed and help you when you need it, How much more will your loving Father 
God help you when you need it. God is kind and compassionate. He cares about us and he wants to help us. So let's read Luke 11. And we're in the New Testament right now. In your Bibles, the book of Luke, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So the third book in the New Testament. In chapter 11, verse 9 and 10. So here's what I say to you. Ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Everyone who asks will receive. The one who searches will find, and the door will be opened to the one who knocks. So we can know that God is going to answer our prayers. We can trust him. Now, the answer may not always come the way we think it will or what we expect, but we can know that he will answer. And most of the time, the answer is so much better than we ever could have imagined. So to make sure, again, that the disciples understood what Jesus was saying, he asked them two questions. If your son asked you for a fish to eat, would you give him a snake? Ah, not a snake. If he asked for an egg, would you give him a scorpion? Ah, he would get stung. So Jesus went on, since you people who are sinful want to do good things for your children, won't your father in heaven be even more ready to answer you and help you when you ask? So let's remember that we can pray to God about all of the situations in our life. And we don't have to have special memorized prayers. We can talk to him like our father. And we can tell him everything. And we can talk to him anywhere. It doesn't have to be in church. It doesn't have to be kneeling by your bed at night. It doesn't have to be sitting at the table before you eat. It can be anytime. Anytime you need to talk to God. Because he wants to hear us. And he wants to answer our prayers and give us exactly what we need because he loves us. All right, I hope you remember that this week and say your prayers and talk to God and we'll see you again next week.